And on the forefront is the immediate family, the wife. Chief Femi Branch, he branched to join us today. It is well. <laughs> Emmanuel. Um, <laughs> I want to thank you. Okay, I think I need to take this off. I'm sorry. Okay, I want to thank um, the Church of God for this very rare privilege. The fact that I'm even standing here where the man of God had stood. I'm having all sorts, of, all, sorts, all sorts of sensations right now. I don't even know how I'm feeling. But I'm speaking on behalf of my colleagues here, so I'm going to make this very quick and very brief. Um, please pardon what I'm going to say right now. People that know me know that I always try to say it as it is. I do not mean words. A lot of people have come here and have said some wonderful things about this phenomenal human being and um, I feel this needs to be said the first place that Christians got their name that name Christians was in Antioch if I'm correct that was where they saw these believers and they said that these ones are Christ like they, that means they are behaving like Christ that was where that name Christians came from it was not a nickname it was not a title they earned it through service Amen? All right. Now, now, knowing a true Christian or a man of God is not rocket science. It's not such a hard thing to do. Because the Bible said concerning Jesus that he went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. Sorry, it's like you didn't hear what I just said. The Bible said Jesus went about doing and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. Does that remind you of anybody? Can you put your hands together for Father, for Daddy? I said I had to say these things because, you know, some of us just gloss over it. I had to do an Instagram post some weeks back and I had to ask a question after Daddy passed on. Because I was seeing so many comments, I was seeing so many people saying some stupid things. I'm very sorry, I'm a bit emotional right now. And I asked that, was T.B. Joshua a man of the devil? Because a lot of people were saying that he was not a man of God. And I was like, was he a man of the devil? And I was like, okay, so what exactly did he spend his life doing? Because as far as I'm concerned, if I'm looking at Nigeria right now, I'm sorry. A lot of people are going to get offended with what I'm going to say. I don't care. If we're looking at Nigeria right now, the church in Nigeria, if you tell me to point out one person that is living, pra practicing ministry, like Jesus himself, the template that Jesus himself said it is not record science i'm not saying it to make anybody feel good you know the truth i'm not telling you anything that you don't know already and i thank god that i'm i'm fine i'm a, I'm a member of this house now praise god but i'm also speaking as a non-member if you know what i mean so i'm not just saying it because i'm a member of the synagogue i'm saying it because it is the truth this is a i'm sorry i said mommy i said something when I, when I saw the video of, uh, I think it was Pastor Biara when he came to visit you. And I said, and I saw the living room of daddy. And I was like, ah, this is Pastor T.B. Josiah's living room. Okay, let me not say what I said after that. <laughs> but we have men of God who invest all of their resources in building mansions in buying expensive cars in dressing in designer clothes and they will still come on the pulpit and say look at this shoe i'm wearing is ten thousand dollars and these men of god have the audacity to be saying that this man was not a man of god i am not surprised listen let me tell you something i did not come here to mourn pastor tb joshua and i'm so i'll speak the mind of my colleagues as well we are not here to mourn pastor joshua we are here to mourn a nation who did not know the jewels she had within her grasp until she lost it we are not here to mourn pastor tb joshua we are here to mourn the many that he touched the many that he supported the many that he built up spiritually financially who turned out to be the ones to tarnish his image I am not here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua. I am here to mourn the church who could not see beyond their envy and beyond their spite.
to learn humaneness, humility, true Christianity, and true service from this humble man of faith. Those are the people I'm here to mourn. Listen, more importantly, I came here to celebrate and to thank every one of you who are seated here. You guys do not know how blessed, how privileged you were. Listen, the Bible said one thing, that it was after Jesus died and the veil of the te in the temple covering the Holy of Holies was torn into two. That was when those who had planned to kill him knew the error they had committed and they said that if they had known, they would not have killed the Lord of Glory. It is after the passing of Daddy that all those people, by the time they sit and hear the works that this man has done, will regret and wish they had not criticized and vilified this man of faith. God bless you and God bless the church. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Tell him he wants to come to this side. Uh, All right, okay, let me know. <laughs>
the evangelist of Prophet Tito Joshua. If we have time right now, in the past respect, this location of the line is state. He was all over the world, originally live from the synagogue church of God.